Hey folks and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to have a look at how you download and install the Pipnotic MT4 indicators. So before you do anything, what you need to do after you sign up for the Pipnotic software and service, you need to go to the pipnotic.com website and you need to go to my account. So we'll click on the link up here in the, in the menu and this will bring us to the my account section of the website. Then you go to downloads, we'll click on that link and in here, you can see all of the downloads that your subscription uh, gives you access to. And so what we need to do for this example, we are going to download the Supply and Demand Plus Currency Strength monthly subscription and the Supply and Demand Plus Currency Strength monthly uh, membership product key. So we have the indicators here, and we have the product key here. Okay, so we're going to download both of these, which will download them somewhere to the computer. Okay, this is where mine are located. So here we have them. We have the, uh, the Supply and Demand Plus Currency Strength and we have Supply and Demand Plus Currency Strength Product Key. So then you simply unzip this and you do this simply by right clicking and going to Extract All. And then you just click on the Extract button and that will create a directory like so. Okay, then you double click on that and then within this folder you will have all of the MT4 files, uh, MT4 indicators that we want to install on our terminal. So in order to do that, you simply mark all of them. You right click on them, you say copy. And then we go back to MT4. And we go to file, open data folder. When we get there, we need to paste the files into the indicators directory. So we'll do this by double clicking MQL4 going to indicators and pasting them in this folder like so. I'm just going to write, overwrite these old ones. And so now we have these files inside the directory that the MT4 terminal looks for indicators. So when this is done, you simply right click on the indicators in MT4 and you hit the refresh option and then you'll see all of the indicators have been installed. So this is essentially how you install MT4 indicators. So now they're installed, now we have to attach them to a chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the supply and demand indicator first, and then we're going to create a template. So in order to do a template, what you need to do is you, is you first of all have to decide how you want your charts to look. And my charts look like this. This is what they, these are the, these are the colorings that I use. I change it maybe a couple of times a year just to mix it up a little bit, but this is the colorings that I have here. And on the common tab, I ensure that chart shift is checked, chart on foreground is unchecked. And then I like to have candlesticks and I like to have the chart auto scroll. Okay, so these are my default settings for, for my chart. And so now I'll take the indicator, we'll start with the Pipnotic Supply and Demand. And I'm going to drag that onto the chart. To attach it, you can either drag it on the chart or you can double click it. And we'll do the double click option double click and this brings up the the software itself and so this is where we need to enter the product key and the private key so the product key is the one that we downloaded which goes in this one here so if I find that quickly it looks like this so here we have to double click we copy it and we paste it in here and we hit enter and I would like you to remember that on the first of every month, the product key expires. So if you log on the first of, of a new month and you realize that the software is not working, it's designed to do this. And this is because I want the software to expire every month based on the product key. So then when this happens, you have to go back to the pipnotic.com website, as we just looked at here. You have to go back to the downloads then you have to re-download the product key for the products that you are subscribed to. Then you copy this value into the product value below here. Okay, you'll also notice that there's another one and this private key is also important. And so you should have received an email that looks something like this, okay, where we have um, a note has been added to your membership and this is the value you need to copy. So copy that value and paste it in the private setting here, like so. So now I both have the product key and the private key, okay? 
And before we do anything else, I just want to run through some of these uh, tabs up here. We'll start off with the about, and the about here tells us the version number of the supply and demand software or whatever software it is that we're using. Here we have a link to the Pipnotic website, and this tells us a little bit about who the software is licensed to. And in this example, we are licensed to Pipnotic. On the common tab, we have three checkboxes. And for the Pipnotic software to work, allow DLL imports must be checked. If it's not checked, it won't work. So please remember to, to do that. Okay, so you have this set. So you, they, sh they should look something like this. And then you go over to the inputs. You make sure that you have the product key and the private key. And when you've done that, you simply click OK. Okay, and then if nothing happens, you can simply change time frames, And this activates the software. So now that is running. So what I like to do when I've done this is just to bring something to your attention is this this key here once it's been entered one time on any instance of any Pipnotic software you don't have to enter it again until the first of the next month so we can actually remove this and it doesn't matter because it's the software has already registered it somewhere on your computer but this one here has to be running in every instance of your software and so what I like to do is I will go to MT4 and I'll create a template. So let's assume that this is my default template. So what I'll do is I'll right click on my chart and I'll go to template and I say save template. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to create something called default template and then I'll press save. Okay and I already have one so I'm just going to overwrite that. And so now whenever I create a new chart like so, all of the settings that I put, the allow DLL, my private key, they're already in the configuration so I don't have to uh, labor through this one by one okay then they're already attached to that chart but it, it has to be called default dot TPL if you do that then it knows that that's the one that has to be loaded automatically okay so once I've done that then I want to add perhaps other uh, pieces of software so let's have a look at the histogram so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the histogram I'm going to double click on it I'm going to make sure that the DLL imports is clicked and then I'm going to go to the inputs I'm going to make sure that my private key is also here. The product key, as mentioned, you only have to enter one time and then it's saved on the computer and the software reads it from the computer. So that's all you have to do there. And then now you can press OK. And then this will bring everything up running nicely. So now we have the histogram and we have the supply and demand software running. And for this one here, what I like to do is I like to create a template as well. So I right click. I go to template, save template, and this is actually the default plus the histogram. So I'm going to save that like so. And if I add another indicator, for example, the sync charts, which I like to use because I like to, um, I like it to sync on all of my charts, and I'll add that indicator. I think actually we have that attached already. Sync charts, and then I'm going to create another template. Right click, save template. This is going to be called my default plus histogram plus sync charts. I'm going to go like that. So now I have all of my all my templates set. Okay, done. And uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, um, for, for the currency strength GFX, you don't need the private key currently. I've left that out for the time being. And for the intra candles and the sync chart, you don't need it either. It's only for the histogram and the supply and demand. Okay, so that's all you need to do.